For the next half hour, we're going to show you side-by-side -side room renovations. And you're going to guess which cost more. If you guess right, you win a priceless feeling of personal satisfaction. Oh yeah! If you guess wrong, ah. we come to your house and remove all your doorknobs. Your home is totally clean, mega neat, and ultra organized all the time, right? Of course it's not. I need help. But there are people who live that way every day. We put everything in the master calendar. You can call them crazy. Oh my gosh, this is borderline too much. We call them clean freaks. I have got a great mocktail and cocktail for you. This is what I call my Helter Seltzer. How cute is that name? And the drink, so beautiful, look at, check it out. The first thing you wanna do is make blood. Blood is very easy to make with corn syrup, some vanilla, you need a cup of corn syrup, a tablespoon or two of vanilla extract, and about 10 drops of red food coloring. That is it. And then you're gonna have a nice, thick, beautiful, tasty blood. I'm Ann Thornton. I'm a professional pastry chef, so I'm constantly thinking about the sweetest way to end a meal. My friend Nate is here, and we are going to finally get to eat all these delicious things I created for brunch. Normally, I would just bring like a little beach shovel if I was coming to brunch <laughs> at your house, rather than a knife and a fork. My front door and my back door happen to line up, so if I get the idea of running the rope through the house, Hopefully the branches don't break and you get the tree in the house in one piece and the door doesn't come through the house. All right, we're ready. Go ahead, Brand. Easy. All right, eat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy. All right, hold slow, slow. All right, that's good. Okay. She's ready to come in. Oh, Brand, whoa. All right, that's good. But then it's all manpower after that. For that, Dave sets up a makeshift scaffold in his rafters. And he's up there for three hours. We've got an awful lot of ornaments. This tree's gonna be covered, and I'm a tinsel guy. Tinsel's a pain in the neck, but to me, tinsel makes the tree. I like it. Lighting the tree is always my favorite part because then all the work is done. That's a wrap. Sometimes I, I think about everything I go through getting this tree in the house, and I think about cutting back. Then it comes time to get the tree in, and I'm right back to getting the big one again. I'm addicted to big Christmas trees, that's it. So I've got some cinnamon, and I've got a little bit of allspice. I'm going to add some powdered ginger, and you know what? I'm going to use some nutmeg here. My nutmeg, a couple grates of this. Now look at spices come in lots of different forms, powdered and whole, and you know what? They don't last forever. We need to replace them probably yearly. So around the holidays, when you're going to start doing all your holiday baking, Maybe it's a good time to take stock and see, have I had this for a while? Maybe I'd better replace it. Give yourself a nice dollop of frosting. Then move the frosting along the side of the cake, removing the excess as you turn the pan in your hand. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Level the top of the cake by using the back of the spatula like a bulldozer until it's flat. To get those swirls like grandma might have made, use the back of a spoon like this. Use two offset spatulas for an easy transfer to a cake plate. A homemade cake is worth celebrating anytime. time.